Hello and welcome back here to uh, to Paul's place. I'm playing more uh, Crusader Kings 2 for you guys. Um, last week I tried to keep it real simple. I uh, just kind of explained the the show a little bit and try to keep it spoiler free and explain the game a little bit. Uh, what I'm going to be doing this time is a little bit different. I'm going to be doing uh, Clash of Kings, which is during the period in the middle of the books or in the show, I guess. Uh, so if you don't want Game of Thrones spoilers, I would be careful from this point on. Uh, so that's your warning. Here we go. I'm going to be playing as. Rob Stark this time, the young wolf. So if you guys have never seen a wolf fuck a lion, it's about to happen. Which I, is something I would not recommend Google searching, <laughs> by the way. I would not do that. Um, but if you want to look it up and uh, let me know uh, what that was, go, go ahead and review that and uh, post that in the comments, you know? Sometimes I like people reviewing my videos, some people I like them reviewing uh, interesting Google searches, so that's completely up to you. As for the first decision of this scenario, anyway, uh, first thing I'm going to do is to get you get to decide who you marry. Uh, Rob did this in the show, and <laughs> uh, if you've been watching the show uh, and you paid attention, you know that that was a big a big fuck up for him. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to marry the Frey girl, and uh, avoid that whole disaster. So that's one thing off my plate is I don't have to worry about getting red wedding immediately. Um, Alright, so now I can worry about my troops. Uh, also, one thing I... Um, now, you know, I'm also going to kind of not go over the mechanics of the game, but I'm, I'll explain this part briefly. Um, I'm going to put... If you put your ambition to have a, a son, I'm not completely sure, but I'm pretty sure that makes you more likely to have one. And I definitely want to do that, because as much as I love Bran, he's not going to be a great heir, considering that he is a cripple. But, you know what? I'll do him a solid. I'm going to mirror him to Mira Reed, get a good Northern Alliance going there. And uh, Rickon, I'll leave. Now, Sansa is held by the Iron Throne right now. Or at least she should be. Whoa, what is... What? 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 Okay, um, this isn't normally the case, but I think I'm having a little bit of a glitch right now. Um, right now it says that the King of the Iron Throne is King Alessander of Rainwood. Uh, that is not Joffrey. Uh, if I go to the history here... Robert Baratheon's right here, and he has no kids. What in Sam fuck is going on here? The War for Northern... In uh, okay, I'm very confused, but uh, we're still at war regardless, I believe. It says I'm at 100%, though. Uh, Alright, well, let's play it for a little bit and see what happens here. Alright, so Balon Greyjoy has declared war on me, just like he does in the show. Uh, that sh should not be a problem, considering that I should be able to just go back and fight them, because apparently Joffrey never existed. And I'm now within the realm of King Alessander of Rainwood, uh, who is slow, <laughs> greedy, lustful, and stubborn. And his heir is some random fucking Bywater kid. Well, I have stumbled down the rabbit hole, and I am now in Game of Thrones Wonderland. So here we go. Uh, <laughs> our new scenario, Rob Stark plays through Wonderland. So first thing I'm going to do, I guess my war is against the Greyjoys now, so I'm sorry if you tuned in to see uh, a lion getting fucked by a wolf. It's not going to happen this time. Uh, now instead it's going to be a squid getting fucked by a wolf. Again, if you want to Google search that for me and let, you know, and let me know how it was, uh, please feel free to do so. I would love to find out. Uh, I'll offer him peace right away just to see if he wants to spare. Nope, he wants war. So war he shall have. Theon, you fucked up, bro. Alright, so I'm going to send these troops that were down in the Riverlands to fight Joffrey. Uh, I'm not sure whose drugs we were smoking because apparently Joffrey never existed, so I'm not sure why we're even at war. Um, but the Blackfish and Rob, I'm going to put the Blackfish in charge of my army, obviously, my uncle. Uh, he's a 30 marshal in this game, so he's pretty good. I mean, Rob Stark is only a 22. He's the next best to have, but still. And then I'll put uh, Mage Moramon, uh, Jorah's aunt, uh, as my third general. All right, I am back here. I haven't gotten north yet uh, to fight the troops. I'm still kind of over here, but I'm stopping it now because the Night's Watch is under attack. And of course, as Lord Stark, I'm going to help them out. Uh, they're taking on Mance Raider, so he's attacking the wall. So once I get up north there... Um, I can help John and, uh, and Jor Mormon and all my buddies up at the Night's Watch uh, help them out with their war up here. Uh, usually, I played this scenario a bunch of times. Usually, the, the Wildlings don't win, but on the few occasions that they do, it gets fucked. Because once they take the wall, they get a lot more troops. And, oh no. Rob. Oh no. 
How did I know this would happen? So, remember when I said at the beginning of this that I was going to be play as Rob Stark and I was going to marry the Frey to try to make sure I didn't get Red Wedding? Well, apparently, <laughs> I have no control over that because he is already fucking Jane Westerling. Uh, if you don't read the books, uh, Jane Westerling is the name of Rob's queen in the books. Uh, t the character Talisa kind of replaced her. So this is the girl who he betrays the Frey girl and then marries. So, yeah. So <laughs> apparently I got her pregnant. And she is going to drink some moon tea. No, don't kid. Don't do that. So I'll have a Stark bastard. Oh, she had defiantly drank the moon tea. Aw. Well, I was going to have a little Stark bastard, but I guess I will not. All right, so... The Greyjoy troops have landed. Uh, Lord Baylor Black Tide, I'm assuming that is. God, I know too much about this shit. He is attacking over here in Flint's Finger, and I've got enough troops to completely smash him. So I'm just gonna hope that, because I mean, when you, a smart player would play as the Greyjoys, and the only way to really use, oh, oh he random ass king is uh, declaring him. He is no king of mine. I've never even fucking heard of you, dude. Literally, who the fuck are you, you fucking scrandom? Anyway, th what I was saying is the uh, important part about playing as the Greyjoys is you don't have the most troops, but you do have a shitload of ships. And uh, so the best way to play them is just like they do in, in the show, in the books, is strike a place, uh, take out some troops or sack a castle, and then get back on the ships. Uh, either that or attack one of their islands, because they won't be able to ferry enough troops to defend it. But the computer almost fucking never uses the ships, right? So now they're just going to sit here and get fucking smashed. All right, that's just a, a vassal who did not obey me. Oh, and I won that battle, and we're already doing well. Oh, apparently I have Sansa back, too, because... Oh, I guess she never got kidnapped by Joffrey, because... I see... Okay, so I have Sansa. A, her direwolf is still alive, and B, she is not in King's Landing. She's just safe at home. So I don't know what the fuck is going on in this alternate magical universe, because Ned Stark is still executed, but by no one, apparently, because normally if you hover over right here, it will show that he is executed by Joffrey. Because here it says, my brother Brandon executed by the Mad King, which is fine. But then we've got, da oh, and uh, Daenerys is, uh, Khaleesi, the Great Grass Sea, she's doing fine. But I, I digress. Um, but I guess Santa is safe and sound at home, so... This is the denial version of Clash Kings. This is how things would have gone in a perfect world where Joffrey magically disappears and is replaced by some douche no one's ever heard of. Alright, so I'm trying to chase down these Greyjoy troops here. Uh, that's part of the big stack, Baylor, Black Tide. Oh, here they go, I got them. See, it's kind of hard to chase them down when they're small like that because they can move a lot faster than me. If I had ships, I would just go siege the Iron Isles, but I don't really have enough to... Oh, no. Well, I guess this is what I... Oh. Oh, come on. Well, this is Rob's bastard, even though no one will... Oh, and now he's an old man. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> okay, so let's pause this for a second. Pause it, pause it, hold the show. This character we're looking at right here, this old fucking man called Lewis of Lannisport, is my son. Aww. All right, so we're back. Uh, my game crashed. Uh, immediately after having that Benjamin Button baby. <laughs> so, uh, no shocker on that one. Considering this game crashes on a good day every once in a while. It's the one buggy. It's not the game's fault. It's the mod that's kind of buggy. So it crashes every once in a while. Um, so that definitely made it crash. Because outside of the fact that Joffrey is now some random asshole I've never heard of, Rob gave birth to Benjamin Button. And so I restarted the game from the earliest save I had. And I'm fighting the Ironborn again. I'm going to destroy this stack. Oh, you can't really see them, but they're right there, hiding behind this menu. And uh, one of the first things I noticed when I reloaded the save was Arya Stark has been found. So she has been successfully rescued, and damn, her stats look good. Duelist, two-star fighter, she's got a dire wolf, four-star intrigue. That's pretty good, even with no formal education. So I'm glad I found her. So that's the one good thing about reloading the save I had. Uh, so now my job is to take out this Greyjoy stack that I didn't get to take out last time. So I will cut back to when the battle starts. Alright, so here we go. The battle is about to start. These Ironborn are sieging Deepwood, uh, the same place they attack in the books uh, and the show. And so uh, I've got the Blackfish again leading my army. Oh, actually, King Rob, the Rob Stark himself, is leading this time. They have the advantage of the woods, but with me having double their numbers, it's not going to help them a lot. Uh, so that battle is 
a sweep, it looks like. Well, let's check the battle, because you can actually watch it unfold as it's going on. Uh, not much left there to brag about. So I defeated them there at Deepwood, and I got 20% uh, percent victory on the war. See, my war scores are down here. Uh, I'm in this war with Mance because I'm helping the Night's Watch, so I'll go up there and fight them as soon as my, my shores are safe. Uh, so I'm going to chase down this Ironborn group here. Uh, and I believe Rob, yep, I'm still married to the fray, just like normal. And hey, the whore is pregnant. <laughs> Robert Brathen. Uh, anyway, so yeah, Rosalind is pregnant. Um, uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so um, the Benjamin Button kid no longer exists. Uh, and because I had to reload the save because it crashed. And this time the kid was born alive. So Rob Stark now has a bastard child. Uh, his name is Lester Rivers. Uh, born off of Jane Westerling, Jane the Unfaithful, who, uh, you know, I didn't have to see. This just goes to prove, Rob, in the show, you didn't have to marry her. You could have just had her, had your baby, and uh, married the fray, and everything would have been fine. Especially when Joffrey doesn't exist. Then everything's even more good. Uh, so now, now Rob has a bastard. Uh, even though it doesn't look like anyone knows that it's mine, uh, so it, the game tells me just because Rob knows, but according to the world, he's just a bastard, so... Because, see, it would show me as his dad right here if I was acknowledged as the kid's father. Um, but I am not, so I lucked out on that count at least. Uh, so let's go back to war. We'll cut back. Okay, and welcome back. Um, <laughs> so that kid that was birthed by Rob Stark once again caused my game to crash. And uh, after doing a little bit of research, I found out that the Clash of Kings section of this current version of the mod is not working properly which is part of the reason why Joffrey Baratheon here doesn't exist <laughs> in the uh, in the version I'm using um, I wonder what happens if we try to play as him oh god this is not gonna end well oh no I am warping realities right now am I gonna be Alessander or am I gonna be Joffrey what is happening what is happening okay so I'm Joffrey now when I load it like this uh, wow okay um, so I guess playing as Joffrey works. Uh, I wonder if that fixes it. Uh, let's just try saving it here quick, and we will see... Hey, it works! So, well, the game as Rob Stark has ended, the, uh, the seven gods, the old gods and the new have spoken, and our Lord of Light. Uh, so I'm not gonna be playing as Rob Stark next week, I'm going to be playing as... Guess who? King Joffrey Baratheon Lannister of the Iron Throne. So, join me next week as I cut out Rob Stark's heart and feed it to his sister. Pleasant.